For the first time in nearly a decade, the Minnesota Twins are winners on opening day. Uh, they beat the Kansas City Royals 7-1 at Target Field. The team announced a sellout crowd of more than 39,000. Winning will be the key to keep those fans coming back. John Lordson shows us where season ticket numbers compare to previous years. Like clockwork, no matter what the Twins did the year before, fans always come back. Thank you. And opening day means having an open mind on a brand new season. 9 0. That'd be a pretty good way to start. After dropping their first nine games last season, the Twins are 1 0. Not only were fans treated to a win, the weather was a bit warmer than last year's opener when it was 42 degrees with a 20 mile an hour wind. It was freezing. Like, we left halfway through the game because it was so cold. Still, despite 50 degrees and heaters at Target Field. Send my, my heater. And I'm warm. <laughs> Spring baseball means winter attire. Just a sweatshirt and my jersey, scarf, mittens, and a hat. The weather will warm up, and fans are hoping the team gets hot. With 103 losses last year, it was no surprise that season tickets on opening day dropped by about 2,000 from 2016 to this year. The on field losses are a reason Mark and Patty Shaw chose not to renew their season tickets and opted for a flex plan. But if the Twins surprise this year, season tickets could be on deck for next year. We're hoping at least 500 this year. That would be an improvement. So They're going to be better this year than last year. Let's hope so. The Twins are running a bunch of promotables and packages that appeal to fans this year. One new one is a spring ballpark pass. For $100, fans can go to every home game in April and May except for today's home opener. But they don't get a seat as part of that package. It's like standing room only, Frank. Oh, well, time will tell, right, John? That's right. Okay, thank you.